Hey, my merry hangsters, and welcome to another redneck moment, poetry, cooking, whatever else we feel like doing. Today's sponsor is brought to you by Gray Brute Rose. If you ever get a hankering for a spritzer like I do from time to time, but didn't you get hassled by a mother-in-law or a wine snobby bestie, get yourself a bottle of this. Pour yourself a nice glass. And while you're at the old holiday party taking a drink of this, good hooch. One of them walks up to you and says, Oh, you've done it again. You've adulterated another good bottle of wine, now, haven't you? You tell them, step off. This is pink champagne. And probably you ought to pay more attention to that dessert plate of yours and the size of your cankles rather than what's in my wine glass and then you stroll off in your yoga pants and ugly sweater spreading cheer. Here's to you. Mmm, that's good. So anyway, whoo. Oh, that's good. So anyway, uh, I've been doing myself some thinking about Buddy Jesus over the past month, and I've tried to do this video a couple times, and here and there things have gone south on me. But today I think we, we've got it all together, me and River. And tonight I'd like to offer up a new vision, a new take on things, if you will. And I put out a request for y'all to send in stuff about what you might know about a buddy Jesus what you've heard about a a more gentle friendly non-judgmental non-preachy kind of a Jesus and I got some good responses actually I got some great responses and uh, I got a couple good phone calls last week talking about communion which also I'm going to try to add into this but uh, the main the main one that I got, I got years ago from a girl from Knoxville, Tennessee. I had some folks ask me, hey, Hank, will you take this girl down to the beach and keep her happy until we can get down there to camp? We're working late. And I said, sure, no problem. I love going to the beach and drinking with pretty ladies. So as we went down there, we cracked open a couple beers and we started talking about where we'd come from and what we'd been through in our lives. And when it came to drinking, I told her, I said, yeah, I was, I was raised in a Christian home, went to Christian schools, but boy, my daddy sure didn't like the drinking. Anytime somebody cracked open a bottle of wine, we had to skedaddle in a hurry. He even left my own brother's wedding as soon as we tapped a keg and brought out the, the guitars because he said, oh, them heathens are getting ready to go at it. She said, oh, no. This girl from Knoxville, she said, oh, no. She said, my family, they smoked with their left hand, they drank with their right hand, and everything was all right as long as they stuck to the Ten Commandments. <laughs> I was like, really? And she said, oh, yeah. They, they believed that Jesus was a partier. Jesus was a friend. A guy that liked to roam around drinking wine, breaking bread, and listening to folks, speaking his peace. Offering help where he could and then moving on. And I've thought about that over the years. Now I've thought about that recently. Now growing up, I was taught to fear my father. And I was taught to fear my school. Getting whooping at home, getting paddled at school, and then going to school. Sunday school on Sunday and Wednesday and being taught to fear my creator. And that's why I've rejected it all these years. But now, now I've got a new take on things. I do not, I no longer fear my creator. And I no longer think of Jesus up on some cross of suffering. I think my creator created me to be happy and pursue happiness. And 
when I think of Jesus Christ, and when I drink wine and I break bread with friends, instead of it being blood and flesh, I think of this wine as being his lifeblood. And when I break that bread with friends, I think of that being his deeds, what he did, how he treated folks. I do believe that he mingled amongst the working class. The people judged and condemned by those by those folks that thought that they they were closer to God than everybody else. So I ask you to do the same. Instead of going through life, if you are a Christian, or if you do believe in the story of Jesus Christ, instead of dwelling on him, suffering up on some cross, and bleeding, and dying, turn it around. Turn it around and, and think about him offering help and advice and aid to people going through the same experience that you and I are going through. There is none of us closer to God than the other. We are all on the same plane, going through the same experience. And I truly believe that He was here to show us that it is all within us. We are all sons of God. So cheers. Cheers to the life, not the death. And cheers to the deeds, not the suffering. Keep it real, y'all.